Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play Transport Fever 2. Welcome back to my Roan uh, Mid-Century series. This will be episode 10, yeah, 10 of the Mid-Century run. And I realized that we have a ton of people waiting on this Isir River line. And it's because we only have one train on the whole line. So we are going to duplicate that. And we're going to get several more on there so that is going to get a lot going you know what probably should have come in here and edited this no i want to replace let's get it to be a faster one too because right now we have the a35 on there which is this there was 62 then what carry had donor bush whatever that is uh, that's this one here it goes 62. This one could go faster. There's less emission and higher capacity. So we should do that. Let's go ahead and get a faster locomotive too. Let's get the Flying Scotsman. And of course, if we are doing the Flying Scotsman, just like we did on the other line, we have to do red. Just because that is what we do. And we'll do six cars on that. 51 million drop in the bucket to do that. So that is going to come down here and really transform this line here. It's these trains. That should really get that running much smoother. Now, in the meantime, I feel like we probably should have... We've got this highway coming down this way. I don't think we necessarily need to have another one following the same river line through there but i do feel like we probably ought to well no we'll let the towns upgrade their own roads we have our highways or our main highway going in there we have more people waiting here too at the airport which is good and i think we're really like this area in here is starting to be a nice little metropolis and they all need food actually this one definitely does, but then if you click on these, they also need food. And we have a little bit of food out here, which we could connect very easily. Except for the fact that we don't have a easy road going through there. So what we're going to do is we will end up getting a road out this way. Let's go ahead and get a roundabout here. Pause and get a roundabout in this spot is we're going to have a different road coming off of that one way. Uh, no, let's do highway. Medium highway, curvy. Let's just go like this and then curve that way. We do the best we can in this game in terms of roundabouts and whatnot. We're going to come in here now and grab this. That will come in like that. And then we're going to bring one off this way and unpause the game. So that should keep that going nice. And we're going to bring this along outside this town. And eventually we're going to connect to that and bring it over that way. So this highway is going to have to come along here. And I want it to come down here and eventually serve that town too. Yeah, that's fine. Go right through there. And I feel like this road yeah, it can come over there and it make its way down here. Yeah, might as well. And let's make that this little section have a purpose. Come through there, upgrade that. As if it was meant to be there. And I'm not sure where to go from here. Oh, that has a pretty cool pass through there. A 
Maybe we have the highway end in this town. Come along this way. Come down here. And curve right into that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then we'll just bring this road in here. Ooh, that is too much of slope, definitely. Curve around like that. And then connect here to... Like that, and... We'll get that connected in a minute, but let's get this in as well. I don't think I want to tunnel through there, though. Let's go ahead and go up there. And back down. And in. That works. Take that out. Connect that in a minute. We'll get this right in here like that. And then it goes right down there. Okay, so now we are going to connect this. We can bring this right on up here. And then get a truck station. We only need one platform. That can go right here, uh, make it long. So that is going to pick up there. And then we need a two platform one to come down here, but let's get a street. Let's go ahead and give this a purpose as well. There, that looks really cool. Okay, so then our truck station is going to go in here. Right there. And then we want some unload stops. We're gonna bring it down into here. And we'll start over in here because we know they have a need for food. Drop it right there. Road Depot. That is going to come in over here. Right there, okay. So now, new line. We're going to have just one line coming over here to here, because that is going to be the food or like the grain. Where is grain? Here it is. Fill up with that and then unload at the next spot. It's going to be road, uh, yeah, road cargo. Whatever. Okay, that goes there. Then we're going to get another line from here. And it's going to bring the food all the way down to here. Yeah, it stays on the highway for the most, well, for the most part, yeah. And that is going to be called road cargo food and let's go ahead and speed this up because we're still only in 1945 I'm going to speed the game speed up to to uh, one half the rate I don't want to go too fast but I also I'm feeling like we can go a bit faster now we're gonna buy vehicles and we want cargo we want this one carries 13. And goes 37. That's what we want. Let's go ahead with 10. Buy it. They're all going to go on grain. Then we'll get another 10. They're going to go on the food line which I don't know that I connected that properly. What is that called? Uh, no, don't click that. Okay. Road cargo. This one. We want to full load there. Of food. Nope, nope, nope. Oh shoot, that's the wrong kind. 
Okay. Uh, we want all of those vehicles. To go back. Well, we can. We don't have to pause because we have plenty of money here. But managed vehicles. Oh, and what we can do is we can come in here and replace them anyway. We are going to pause briefly. We want. Yeah, see, they can't do the grain or the cooked food. We want this one, the tarp truck. Can't have as much cargo, but that's okay. Now we want this line, manage the line, and full load red. Okay. So now they are going to be filling up. This is operational. They're going to be bringing it down to here, which will be operational very soon. And they're going to be on two different terminals. Very good. So that gets the food to one spot. We'll watch how that goes. We really could use more food here. But there isn't really that much more grain. I wonder if I can build some more farms. Uh, that's here. Yeah, I could build farms. 25 million, that's like nothing at this point. Yeah, let's get that there. Just connect another one. Uh, one platform. Right there, and then bring a road in. Oh, interesting. That road, like, cuts through a whole bunch. Well, alright, we'll come along this way. And up like that, oh, too much. Yeah, okay, that works. There we go. That will work for me. A new line from here down to here. Again, full load on the grain. Grain two. And then we want another line. Oh, wait, we need a new station. So we want to unload then. We're unloading there already. We want to unload some food down in here. Let's put that like over in here, I think. Yeah, that should work. And then we want to have this line and station here. And then we're going to come down here and drop off there. And this one is going to be called Road Cargo St. Rambert to Al Bun Food. There we go. So then we're going to go over to the depot, which we put over by this farm. And we are going to get that. This one, we want 10 of those trucks. And they will go on grain two. And then 10 of these trucks. Oh, a new freighter plane is available. That's interesting. Uh, and then put them on this food. So now we might have an issue over here though. Now we need more terminals at this station. Let's go ahead and get a few more in here and also get this a little bit longer. There we go. So now we should be able to come in here and get one on each of these terminals just to split them out a little bit better. We still haven't had any, any grain delivered over there yet. Here we go, there's the first one. So those will get operating better and get some more food to, uh, delivered over here. So that'll be good. And I'm pretty happy about the 
the highway is coming along quite well. Let's check on how this line is doing now. Uh, trains and train passenger here, this one. It is currently losing money, but I think it's because we don't have the uh, vehicles spread out very far yet. I think that is going to change very quickly. And that will be a very profitable line. Yeah, this one. Where are you located? Not too far behind another one. And that he's not full, but it, he will be pretty soon. He's just got to Grenoble. And I think that will really get much bigger and bigger. So, and this line coming from over there. So there are like people wanting to go that way. So that, yeah. I feel pretty confident about that. Now let's find an airport. I want to look at that uh, new plane that is available, but I think it was a cargo plane. Let's come in here. Cargo. Yeah. A new freighter. It can go faster than the other one and carry a little bit more. I don't think I want to do much with cargo and airplanes though although interestingly it can fly passengers as well but the DC-4 carries more and faster so we're not going to worry about that we're going to keep going with the DC-4 and I think those lines are doing quite well now yeah we have just a couple that aren't very uh, profitable, but the rest are pretty good. So that is nice. Our ship lines are doing well. Yeah, we have a few tram lines not doing so good, but that's okay too. And the same thing with our road lines. Most of them are just to feed into the bigger things. And our budget is really doing quite well. But anyway, I think that is about where I will leave it for today. So what we did is we expanded this highway out this way and we added a bit of food delivery to these two of these towns. So that hopefully will help them grow even further. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.